Hello ROS developers, welcome to the ROS in 5 minute video series by The Construct, your channel for everything ROS. I'm Bayo Diadena and in this video we'll be learning about how to create a ROS service client. Uh, but before anything else, remember to visit the Robot Ignite Academy, our online academy where you find practical online ROS courses using simulated robots. No installation required. You will find a link to this academy in the video description. So let's get started with our work for today. We have the raw service client written already. Uh, but before we look at the code, let's see how it works by running it. Raw CD. So we have a service client here. And we are running that. Okay. Nothing is happening. Yes, because it's a client, we need to have the server running for anything to happen, basically. So let's go to another terminal and start the server. In previous videos, we learned about what a raw service is and how to create a raw service server. So you find the link to these videos in the description. Now we are learning about how to create a service client. And for that, we also need to run the server. So we are running here a server that we created already in a previous video, sosservice.py. Okay, the server is running now. Let's go back to the client and see what is happening. Oh, okay. Our client has finished running and it has produced some messages here. So that's nice. Just to check, let's run it again and then let's see what happens. Great. So it's working the way we expect. And so now let's have a look at the code quickly. In our code here, we import RossPy because we are using Python. And then we imported trigger and trigger request. Uh, in our service server, we imported trigger and trigger response. So we need to know what our service is all about before we can actually write a client for it. So going back to our service, after importing that, we initialize a node as usual. This is basic. And then we now wait for our service, which is actually fake 911. So if you look at here, we see that this is the name of our service, fake 911. So moving ahead, um, we wait for the service. Okay. So now the next thing is to create a connection to the service and um, Again, we supply the name of the service and the type of service, which is a trigger service. Now, the next step for us is to create a request to the service. And it has to be a trigger request uh, because we are dealing with a trigger service. And finally, we send our request through the service connection. This is our service connection and this is our request. And then we do something with the results. Now, putting all this down in some theory is basically how to create a raw service client in five easy steps. Know your server. This is very important. You need to know the kind of service it's offering. Then wait for the server to be online. Create a connection to the server. Create a request and send the request over the connection and then do something with the result. And so that was it. I hope you'll be able to learn one or two things here. I will see you in the next video. So did you like the video? If you did, please give us a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to our channel and press the bell for a new video every day. You can also leave us your thoughts in the comments area. Peace out. Udabo.